and <sighs> hey guys it's Suresh welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today so last week we took a trip down Barbie nostalgia lane and visited a gorgeous porcelain doll from 1991 who is a reproduction from 1959 doll called gay Parisian Barbie doll to continue with the theme as I was looking around I stumbled upon the 30th anniversary porcelain Ken so obviously I had to get him so in 1991 Ken turned 30 years old um, it was his 30th anniversary from 1961 when he started to 1991 I am so excited because I also think that he has um, really cute detailed vintagey undergarments just like Gay Parisian did I did buy him from a third-party vendor and he is supposed to be brand new um, not removed from the box. Oh, there he is. 30th anniversary, 1991, limited edition porcelain Ken. He does also have a serial number here in the back. I just have kind of fallen in love with this porcelain doll um, craze, and I'm hoping that it doesn't become a new addiction, because God knows I don't need another addiction. Right out of the box, um is the styrofoam box that he comes in there's a little book in here detailing his outfit it's so cute he's been an astronaut doctor pilot olympic skier much much more but he's most famous as the constant companion of the world's most popular fashion doll barbie that's right bitch the booklet even has all his different careers that he's had since he came out oh there he is he looks real vintage voila oh cute definitely has stained the styrofoam this doll was not supposed to be removed from his packaging according to what i purchased but he has definitely been removed and there is some really weird brown shit on him this guy's shirt is like totally browned i mean i don't know if that's just age or or what but um I just, I don't know, this is disappointing. Ooh, but he's heavy though. Very, very heavy, wow. There's also a weird like white spot, sort of like a like a friction or wear down spot on the back of his head. I almost thought about not completing this review because I just feel so disappointed and so angry. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish it because I would like to share him with you guys. Um, the biggest disappointment in that is that his shirt is um, like stained it's like yellowish here is mr. Ken Carson porcelain 1961 30th anniversary up close and personal fully dressed do you see what I mean about the discoloration of the shirt um, it's like totally yellow but then the area underneath that is not there's also like a weird pen mark here however um, he is very cute and very handsome he does have the flocked hair um, which feels like felt that's pretty cute I like his little burgundy bow tie and his little boutonniere. He even has a little cummerbund underneath this um, in the same burgundy color. He has a really heavy, beautiful tag that says 1961 on it. And then the other side says 60th anniversary Ken, so that's cute. He does have sweet little hands. Um, and then I like the little faux pearl buttons here on the shirt. That's a nice touch. The shirt does open and close with two snaps, which look like they're so old and rusted god knows if they'll even open the tuxedo is really nice it does have a beautiful finish to it as well and then here are his little shoes their little lace-ups here um, he does have little black socks on as well there are no vents in the jacket so that's interesting but um, there's that little kind of worn down looking spot on the back of his head that i was talking about the cool thing about porcelain is you can really capture a lot of detail look how freaking cute his little hands are all the little finger lines and little palm lines are all in there and you can even see the detail on his fingernails here i started undressing mr ken and <laughs> just as promised he does have his undergarments they are so freaking cute you guys oh Mr. Ken Carson, you're so freaking cute. Definitely will need to figure out some sort of restoration for this shirt. Wow, I can really hear the porcelain. Can you hear that? That's so cool. Here's Ken up close and personal in his vintage undergarments. How beautiful though are these fabrics? Do you see? There's like a really, really gentle little pattern here on his little A shirt. 
how freaking cute i love i also love that the edges have all been finished in the same serge uh, type of technique that um, gay parisian barbies little bloomers were finished off in so i love that check out the back of this little t-shirt how freaking cute <laughs> it's like very european looking i'm here for it and then his little boxers are also so freaking cute they have like a little red stripe on them they appear to be like a very very light blue i think these are still in the original color that they need to be in um, thankfully protected because of the clothes they had over it here are his adorable little sock garters i mean how freaking cute right he has the traditional tuxedo sock in black and then the little sock garter it's the same contraption that uh, gay parisian's lingerie was in the same little clip right there which if you pull up will release the sock just like so the porcelain body really is very very beautiful i have to say it feels very much like silk stone it, it is very smooth to the touch um but it just kind of has this nice see you hear that like very very glass like texture to it you can hear the porcelain just like that right you hear it he is strung the same way that barbie is here on the inside um very cool and then you can also see that right there in his leg he does not have any points of articulation on his appendages and limbs um, just here in the leg area and here in the arm area so just up down is really all he can do um, so these dolls are obviously not meant to be played with at all they really are display dolls and display pieces um, and then here on the back here we can see his serial number written in silver i believe barbie's was in gold if i remember correctly his neck also does not move it's stationary so the nice thing is when he is in clothes and you can't see the joints he looks very realistic in that you know generally you would see a big joint right here underneath ken's head um and uh you don't see that here so that is nice i like it here's his little shirt up close and personal it really does need some tlc um, but uh, I hope that I'll be able to restore this back into a bright white color. I love the fluted front here. It does not have a wing collar. It rather has a convertible collar. The collar does pop up all the way and that's actually how you get the bow tie around him. The little faux pearl buttons here are very sweet. It does feel like a nice cotton. There's a yoke up here as well. It does not have French cuffs or a button on the cuffs. Um, it's a plain cuff just like so here are his cute little trousers it does have an authentic ykk zipper on it so that is cool it's snap. it closes with a snap now the interesting thing here is there is no um, waistband here on the pant so that's kind of odd and i think they did it this way maybe because the cummer band is covering everything up but it would have still been nice to see a waistband straight front pant no pocket detail anywhere considering that i just reviewed jesse's mlp doll back there um looking at this feels a bit basic i will say there is a bit of a uh silk grow grain running down the side seam of the trouser here um generally that's the mark of a tuxedo um I didn't even really notice this until I looked really, really close up and you can see a little bit of something. And I don't think that's uh, how the seams would come together because this is what the other side of the trouser is. So I do think that this is the attempt that they made to put that in there and it is to scale. So um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And here is his sweet little tuxedo jacket. Beautiful little piece here. It has a beautiful shawl collar here. That is lined with satin and on the inside here the whole jacket is lined i believe this is a very fine thin silk um, which is standard lining fabric so that's cute there's his little ken tag love the sleeves are also fully lined so that i appreciate very much we don't see these touches anymore in today's dolls his little boutonniere here is also super cute there are flat pockets here in the front one button on the the jacket here with a little elastic loop there around the button and then the back does not have any vents 
Um, it uh, is nicely constructed though. The craftsmanship is nice. His little tag is actually stitched onto the um, sleeve of the jacket. Here's his little bow tie and cummerbund. Um, cummerbunds are definitely <laughs> not that big of a thing anymore, but uh, in the early 1900s, they definitely were. It's a little uh, pre-tied bow tie with an elastic band. Um, goes around his shirt pretty easily. The same thing here with the cummerbund. Same fabric, same color. Has a little piece of black elastic in the back that uh, slips right over his trousers. Here are his sweet little shoes. Beautiful black lace-up tuxedo shoes. Standard um, Ken shoe. It has a little bit of a squish to it and they come off and on his feet pretty easily. All right, so you guys, I decided that I absolutely could in no way put this shirt and ensemble into my doll cabinet without first trying to give it a good wash and get rid of this nasty brown crap on it. So um, here I have a bleach and water solution. The solution is actually appearing here on the screen and I dunked the shirt in. I'm using a pair of disposable wooden chopsticks to agitate the fabric and turn the shirt around. I obviously don't want to touch this with my hands, but you can actually see the stain is lifting out. Yay! And after I finished the shirt, I rinsed it out really, really well in multiple rounds of water. And then I dumped all the clothes into a fresh, clean ba pail of water here. And this is about a gallon of water. I'm using a little bit of laundry detergent. And I'm just using my hands to agitate the fabric and turn everything around. The water is about warm temperature, not too hot, not too cold. And really all I want to do here is rinse each of these pieces really well. There's a really gross like vintage store kind of smell to this entire suit and that just grosses me out to no extent. And my whole aim here is to get the pieces smelling fresh and clean and new because ain't nobody gonna put nothing in my doll cabinet that smells like old grandma honey. I don't think so, okay? So I washed all the pieces here and then after I did that, I laid them all out to dry. I did not wring them out. I just gently squeezed out the water and after a few hours, here we go. Everything is fresh and clean and sparkling like new. I'm so happy I did this. Look how bright white that shirt is. It's perfect. I love it. Highly recommend that you guys restore your clothes this way. So there we have it, you guys. This is the 30th anniversary Porcelain Ken doll from 1991. I am happy to have him. He's a beautiful doll, and I'm excited to stand him next to gay Parisian Barbie. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you guys be notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Check me out on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Ken and I are going to dash on down to JFK. We're going to hop on that private jet and follow Barbie to Paris. Mm -hmm. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Ken here in New York. Mwah. And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye!